I'm Joe James and in this video I'm going to explain the basics of ratios and proportions. So if there are three cars for every one truck, we could express a ratio like this. The ratio of cars to trucks is 3 to 1, or we could say 3 colon 1, or 3 over 1, similar to a fraction. And in all three of these cases, the first number is cars and the second number represents trucks, the 1. A couple of properties on ratios. You can change the order of or invert ratios because they're not actually fractions. So, for example, the, the example we just used, the ratio of cars to trucks is 3 to 1. The ratio of trucks to cars is 1 to 3. Now, in this case, the 1 still is indicating trucks or 1 colon 3. The 1 still indicates trucks and the 3 still indicates cars. So it's okay to invert the fraction as long as we know that the labels are inverted as well. Property number two, you can reduce ratios just like fractions. If the ratio of dogs to cats is 10 fifteenths, we could reduce that. We can see that both the top and bottom are divisible by five. We can simplify that fraction to two thirds. So the ratio of dogs to cats is two thirds. Now both of these are valid ways of expressing a ratio, however you'll most often see ratios expressed fully reduced to their simplest form. Let's look at a sample problem. We're given that there are three cars for every one truck. There are 24 cars. How many trucks are there? So let's set up the ratio that we're given as 3 to 1, where 3 represents cars and 1 trucks. That equals a similar ratio, 24 cars, because 3 is cars and we put it on top. We're going to put 24 on top to indicate cars, and we have an unknown number of trucks. So in this case, we simply cross multiply and divide. This is a really easy problem because we can see that 24 is a factor of 8 greater than 3, right? So 3 times 8 makes 24, so 1 times 8 is going to, to equal 8. But to cross multiply and divide, in case you're not familiar with this, we take the number above the question mark. 24, we multiply it by the diagonal number, 1, and then we divide it by 3. So we have 24 times 1 divided by 3 will give us this question mark, which we already know is 8 trucks. So that's a simple way to solve very simple ratio problems like this. Now the same rules apply when you have three items. You can change the order of or invert ratios, although most often you don't see them written as fractions when there are three of them, more often expressed in a colon format. And you can also reduce the ratios like fractions. So the ratio of pigs to cows to sheep is 8 to 20 to 12. So we can change the order of those if we want. The ratio of sheep to pigs to cows is 12 to 8 to 20. So you can see that we, if we change the order of the labels, we also need to change the order of the numbers correspondingly. And then we can see that all of these numbers are divisible by 4, so we could reduce this to a simpler form. The ratio of sheep to pigs to cows is, well, this is equivalent to 3 to 2 to 5. So in its simplest form, it takes this format. Let's do another sample problem. The ratio of pigs to cows to sheep is 2 to 5 to 3. That's a given. If there are 40 animals, how many pigs are there? One way to look at this problem is, if we have one set of pigs, cows, and sheep, how many is that? How many animals? Well, there's two pigs, five cows, three sheep, that's a total of, let's see, two plus five plus three, ten animals. So for every ten animals, there are two pigs, or 20% of the animals are pigs. So what we're going to do to solve the problem is something very similar to that. This is called proportion. So when you have a part related to a part, you call that a ratio. When you call a part related to the whole, then we call that a proportion. So the proportion of all the animals that are pigs is 2 over 2 plus 5 plus 3, because we can see that there are 2 pigs to 5 cows to 3 sheep. So if there's a one set of 10 animals, 2 of them will be pigs. So the proportion of the total animals that are pigs is 2 over 10. That reduces to 1 fifth, and then we can simply multiply that by the total number of animals. So there are 40 animals given, 1 fifth of them are pigs, we can multiply this out and we get 8 pigs total out of the 40 animals. So I hope this helped you understand ratios and proportions. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.